means you got to plug it in the wall. You know, let me tell you a funny thing here. I got a call the other day, a patient came home. And you see this button here? It has to be in the on position. Because in the off position, it only works by uh, the external battery and the internal battery, but not the AC. So in the on position, it works the AC, the external, and the internal. So it has to be on. <laughs> on right there. All right. Every time. How you know it's plugged in the wall? Okay, we got an on off button right here. You see this top left hand button? Oh, there she go. Hi, Mom. Okay, good. Okay. This is the button that turns it on to the mode. When it's down at the bottom, it says standby. Standby is off. Okay, whenever you see a circle in a one, that's off and on. Okay, so now we turn it up to a system control. So, what are you doing? Now, this here button is the sound button. And it also resets any type of thing. Now, first of all, we got three lights here to tell what source they're on. We have a battery. A light will be right here for a battery. This light's your internal battery. And this green light up here will be for AC. So, it's operating on the internal battery right now. What we want to do is operate on AC. So, plug in the wall. I got this. And once he plugs in the wall, this is going to result to the AC light. You could disconnect the pump, right, for a little bit. Okay, you said green light on? Mm -hmm. So when you come to the machine, you want to make sure it's in the AC green light. Because if it's not, it's going to be on the external. Well, the reason we don't have external right now is because I'm going to put the battery. Yeah. Put the battery. So, it's in the AC. Now, if I lose power in the house, it automatically goes to external battery because it's usually a cable in the wire in the back that's connected to the uh, battery. And that battery lasts 12 hours with this machine. Now when that battery is depleted at 12 hours, hopefully electricity will be returned. You know, it's good. It will go to your internal battery. And every time it goes to a different power source, it will give you a low alarm and let you know what's happening. So this is what you have to learn in the house. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like I told you, this is standby is off. I turned one up, which was the assist control. That's the mode he's on. Okay, this left knob here would be his volume. And where is that now? Is that one liter? 1.0 is it's a liter. Okay, the second number over here would be his respiratory rate. How many times per minute is he going to get a uh, breath? Right now, it's set at 18. Can you see that? Okay, fine. So that's the volume, the rate. Over here would be the inspiratory time. The inspiratory time means how fast he's gonna get the breath. Okay, now I'll give you an example. Okay, he's on a breath rate of 18. That's kind of average out to, to, to 20. It's a easy look, you know. So a minute is 60 seconds, right? You take 20 breaths and divide it into 60 seconds. That's three. So every three seconds he's gonna get a breath, right? So here's a window of three seconds. Now, I set the inspiratory time to 1.5 seconds, and the remainder of that three seconds is his exhalation time. That makes sense? Okay. So 18 breaths a minute is about 3.2 seconds, 3.3 seconds, something like that. And 1.5 seconds going in, there's going to be like 1.8 seconds coming out. So the IE ratio is going to be like 1 to 1.1 1 .1 or 1 to 1.2 or something like that. You always breathe in quicker, and you breathe out longer. Why? Why? Why is that? Why is that? Because you should know women should. I'm oh, sorry. You want to get mad at me? Women should let it go. Because we only talk on exhalation, and you all know who's better talkers. <laughs> okay. So over here, this thing says breathing effort. Okay. Breathing effort is a sensitivity. If I hit you with a hammer, you don't feel it. You're not sensitive. If I touch you with a feather, and you jump. You're very sensitive. So. 
what happens is this here. What he does, if he wants a, if he demands a breath, he, if he wants a breath, he breathes in like this a little bit, and the needle will go down a little bit. So let's say tip, my finger's at zero, and this is at minus one. If he breathes in, the needle's gonna go from here to down there. The machine's gonna sense that and give him another machine breath. In the machine breath, he's getting this how much? One liter. Now, the other thing he's on is peep. So we have to change the sensitivity, or I should say the you know, breathing uh, effort or sensitivity a little differently because instead of the needle going from zero to this pressure that he's getting, it's gonna go from five, because we set a peep of five. And on his exclamation valve, there's a peep valve here. And how you know it's going to five? Well, you see the needle drop back down so it stops, the needle stops at five, and it goes down to zero. See it stops at five, see it stops at five, and go down. Wherever the needle goes back down to, that's the peak. Now what peak is, P-E-E-P, -E -E -P, is positive in expiratory pressure. Meaning that when you breathe out, I kind of block your mouth a little bit. Okay, and the reason for peak is that when a person gets up, in the air we breathe 21%, right? You, you're 21 yet? Yeah, you should. That's a legal age, so they're 21%. So what happens is uh, the reason for PEEP, there's a couple of reasons for PEEP, the main reason for PEEP is to keep the saturations at a, a good level without giving them more oxygen. So we, let's say a patient was on 50% oxygen. He couldn't go on 50% oxygen. So what we do, we add a little bit of PEEP, right? And we give him like 35% oxygen but the saturation stay high. Why? Because the oxygen stays in the lungs longer because I'm blocking them coming out too quickly. So it has more time to diffuse into the blood and keep the saturation up. So, so he's on a PEEP of five, which we addressed here. These are just indicators. I don't go by these numbers here. I go by what it goes back down to. That makes sense? You know, you, you, you'll know. Let me see. See, it's going to five and it goes down. And go back up. Okay, so the, the breathing effort is going to be on a positive side of the um, zero, as opposed to the negative side of the zero. I mean, like about three. Can you see? Yeah, about, it's about two or three. So that means he has to trigger back maybe like one or two cc's of centimeters of water pressure to trigger a breath from the machine. But then you won't know until we put him on it, then we get the titrated to this you know, comfort. Okay, now. So we just discussed the, uh, the on and off, his motor is assist control, his volume is a, a meter, his rate is 18, his inspiratory time is 1.5 seconds, and his sensitivity is about positive 2 or positive 3. Okay.